Now it's time to centre drill our holes. For that, I'm going to use a G82 drilling cycle. This is similar to the G81 drilling cycle, but it allows us to add a dwell command. Let's see how this works. I've placed our centre drill in the machine in position four, and we're using offset four, so the machine knows where the tool is. The rest of this section is the same as we've already discussed, so I'll skip over this part. The position of our first hole is at X15, Y15, so we can wrap it straight to this position using the G00 command. With that command still active, I can wrap it down in Z to a safe working distance that still clears the clamps at Z40mm. I'm assuming the clamps are at 30mm above the component. Here is our drilling cycle line. The G82 is a drilling cycle that allows us to add a dwell at the bottom of our drill depth. G99, with this code we use to hop over clamps, the G99 tells the machine to only retract to the R value on this line. Talking about the R value, that is a safe working retractable distance that's set at one millimeter above the component. So as you can see, as we approach the clamps, one millimeter is not enough to be able to avoid the clamps. But on this line, the G99 tells the machine to only retract one millimeter. As our first three holes, we don't need to retract all the way up. The P500 command is our dwell time. This is in milliseconds. So P500 is half a second, whereas P1000 would be one second. This defines how long the cutter dwells for at the end of its drilled hole to allow for cleaning up of the surface. It's good for when we're countersinking and center drilling. The Z value is how deep we wish our center drill to drill for inside the material. And F defines our feed rate. So, when the machine reads this line, it will drill to a depth of 3.5 millimeters, dwell for half a second, and then wrap it away to one millimeter above the surface of the material, which is defined by the R value. To repeat the same process for our next hole, we simply need to give it a position. No other information is needed. So X30 will take the cutter to the next hole, center drill it, dwell, and return back to one millimeter above the component. Now drilling cycles naturally use incremental movements. So although our program is written absolutely and we're using all the dimensions from our datum position, when using drilling cycles, we give the position of the next hole from the current position of the drill. This is why we move the drill X 30 millimeters and not X 45 millimeters, as it would be if we took the position from the datum. The distance to the next hole in X is also 30 millimeters. So we just need to give the command X 30 and the sensor drill will go and drill the hole, dwell and return. We're getting a bit close to the clamps here, but clearance is clearance. I didn't hit the clamps, so it's all good. Now we need to retract the Z value back to our 40 millimeters. So we avoid these clamps. We do that by adding the G98 code. So as the machine reads the next line to move to X 110, it will read the G98 code and retract up to our previous Z depth of 40 millimeters instead of the R value of one millimeter. So the command X 110 G98 will safely hop over the clamp and retract to our safe working value of Z40 and then automatically drill the next hole. For our next hole position, we don't wish the machine to retract that far away from the component. There's no obstacles in place. So a retraction of one millimeter above the component is plenty. We do that by adding a G99 code. Now the machine will read the R value from the cycle line and not the Z value from above it. So the line X30 G99 moves the drill to the next position and automatically drills a hole while only retracting one millimeter because of the G99. All that is needed to drill our next hole is just adding X30, which is the distance between the holes in the X dimension. The G99 is still active from the line above, so it will only retract to the R value of one millimeter above the surface of the material. 
To move our centre drill to the final hole, we need to retract up further to avoid the clamps. We do this by adding the G98 on this line. The X and Y positions are the positions of the hole. Running this line will automatically lift the tool up, miss the clamps and drill the hole to the required depth. Now that our holes are complete, we can cancel our drilling cycle using the G80 command. Now using a rapid command of G00, I can lift the tool up to Z50mm above the component and turn off the coolant with M09. Our G53 line takes the spindle back to its home position and we turn off the spindle with M05. And we finish this section of code with M01, our optional stop. And that concludes using a sensor drill or a spot drill using the G82 cycle.